Hi, I'm Rita Peterson with Everything Homemade and we're going to make some meatloaf today. I've got my helper here which is Ocean who is seven and a big thank you to Orion, um, my son who is filming and he is eight years old. So let's begin. Are you ready Ocean? Yes. Excellent. So the first thing you want to do with meatloaf is put in um, some eggs. Now the amount of meat that I have will be two pounds of ground beef. So you will have to um, adjust this recipe to the amount of hamburger that you have, but we will have um, two pounds. So Ocean can begin cracking the eggs here. Perfect. Then we're going to get them in. And once again, um, if you're new to my videos, all the ingredients will be listed at the end of the video. Okay, two eggs. So what she's going to do is mix them up. She wipes off her hands here. Okay, so she's going to mix those eggs up. And you want to beat them up. Get them nice and beat. And this is when I start adding in some of my spices. Okay, stop there, Ocean. So the first thing I want to add in is about a teaspoon of salt. And salt really enhances the flavor of the meat. And remember, this will be a, a larger meatloaf. So we add some salt in. The next thing we want to do is add some pepper. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to use some chili powder. Let me just move this out of the way, Ocean. Come on. Some chili powder here. And I like flavor in my meatloaf, so a good tablespoon there. Um, and this here is paprika. Mom, paprika's um, lighter than chili. Yeah. It is. And I like to use um, some garlic powder. Now, you can chop up garlic if you would like um, and add it in here. I would add one, two, four um, cloves. And some onion powder. Again, you can chop up an onion, but my um, husband doesn't quite care for that, so I use onion powder instead. The other thing that, that I like is marjoram. Marjoram herb works really good and I like to put about um, a tablespoon in here and I love that herb and summer savory and about uh, one teaspoon so those are the spices that I like to use so you can mix those up there ocean the other thing is I when I make meatloaf I honestly I honestly like to look in my fridge. What do I have for leftovers? Um, sauces maybe from a couple of nights ago and I have in my container a little bit of leftover tomato paste. So I'm going to put that in there. So I can only say my meatloaf flavor will change depending on what's in my fridge. Now if I have let's say um, a ch old che a cheese sauce I might add that in. I might put, um, if you like ketchup, you can add ketchup in. If you like mustard, you can put some mustard in. Uh, if you um, are a big canner and like plum sauces and chutneys, um, when, when I have um, garden fresh and ready um, salsa, I add that in. So my meatloaf totally depends on the time of the year that I'm cooking, what's in my fridge. So today it's going to be very basic because that's what I have in my fridge. So Ocean's got that mixed in. And that is your base. Yeah. Now, depending on what you're putting in will depend on how much um, liquid you need to be absorbed by either oats, um, breadcrumbs. Um, and in this case, I'm going to show you something that's not quite ordinary. And you'll notice with me that that's okay. And, and so let's take a look over here. This is chia seeds. Now a little word about these beautiful, really unique seeds which are now even found at Superstore, they are found at Costco, some of the major places. 
they absorb liquid like crazy okay I can't remember how many times but it is at an amazing amount um, and so I'm going to show you how to make a gluten-free meatloaf. At the same time, um, I will also tell you if you're not gluten sensitive, what to do there. But I'm going to use chia seeds today. One thing that's nice with chia, it, it increases the nutrition of your meatloaf. So it gives you a boost of omega-3s and many other vitamins and minerals. So what I'm going to do is just set these chias aside um, and put in my meatloaf or put put in my meat here there we go so just break that up and while she's doing that I'm just gonna wash my hands here okay so as she's Moving that around now. I'm going to take over for a second here, and I'm going to get this mixed in really well. Now we are doing this about three hours before supper time for a couple of reasons. First reason, I have time right now, and all I have to do is press, um, is turn on my oven when it's ready. The other reason is because I'm using chia seeds, and I want that time for the chia um, to absorb the liquid in the meatloaf. So awesome, that looks good, it's well mixed. Now, because this doesn't have a lot of extra liquid, I'm only gonna put a half a cup of chia. Now, if I had used something more saucy, um, eat it, even added um, some soy or anything like that, I would have put the full cup in. So I'm gonna do a half a cup of chia here. So Ocean can mix that up. Now, if you um, don't want to add the chia, you can put in oats. Now for for a, for this here, I would again use about a half a cup to three quarter of a cup of oats. If you were going to use breadcrumbs, the same kind of thing. Um, and you're going to it totally is going to depend on the moisture level. So more moisture, more need for a binder to um, um, absorb that moisture. Um, to hold that meatloaf together. So really use your judgment with that and, and look at your meatloaf. Um, and with chia seeds, just wait wait even 10 minutes. If you were in a rush, just wait 10 minutes. It'll really absorb. But you won't notice the chia that much in the meatloaf, okay? Um, the other thing that, that sometimes I like to do is cook up lentils and smash them up a little bit and put them in here to bulk it up. So there's so many ways um, to do meatloaf. Um, you can even grate carrot, you can even um, chop up celery, put peppers in it, um, spinach. So I'm going to show you the base and you can take it from there. If you have some more suggestions or questions, just let me know. Um, so we're going to put this into a dish and we're going to cook it under 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, for about an hour, hour and a half, between an hour and an hour and a half, we're going to do that. So let's just get a dish here. Move out of the way, Munchkin. Get a dish here and put it in. Okay. You wanna, yeah, you can. Meatloaf. Yeah, meatloaf. Okay, and I'm going to help Ocean out here for a moment. And we just kind of spread it into your dish. Just like so. And these seeds I just love. Honestly, I absolutely love using chia in my meatloaf. I have used... Um, oats plenty of times but I I always go back to to chia again and again and now mom could I pat it all down right away munch <laughs> okay so ocean's gonna just finish straightening that out 
And the other thing what you can do if you like you can grate some cheese and sprinkle some grated cheese on when it's cooking. Um, you can you, it'll make a nice nice flavor. I do that sometimes or you can just leave it. Annika. Shh. Okay, so I'm going to just again help Ocean here and press it down. All right, so just like that and in the oven it goes again for about an hour, hour and a half under 350 degrees and you'll have a wonderful meatloaf. Um, I will show you how, how it looks when it's all done. Take a look at that meatloaf is all done. Here it is cut up, holds together beautifully and look at that. Plate for supper, we got homemade sauerkraut, meatloaf, rice, and um, beans here. We will enjoy it. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe. I want to hear your comments. Um, and once again, thank you for all the positive feedback. I thank you.